What is up guys, I'm coming back at you with another video and by the title of today's video, you know why you're here, you're looking to make some coin in HUT this year. So I'm going to be showing you the top three ways I find are the best for making some coin in HUT. So the main way and by far the best way I have found to make some coin in HUT this year is squad battles. I know some people don't like playing uh, against the computer, but it is by far the best way to make some coin. So, if you come over to your rank over here, I'm at Pro 1 right now and that's already a guaranteed 12,500 coins. So, if you want to grind this out all week, you can get, I, I the best I did was Elite 1, but you can grind up here into the top 100. So right now I'm at Pro 1 and it's a guaranteed 12,500 coins and I didn't play a single game all weekend. I was playing Hot Champions so I didn't play a single squad battles game all weekend. So if you want to grind every single game of this you can easily get top 100. So let's say the best you can get is Elite 1. You're still getting 17,500 coins. Plus you will play a total of 37 games which is around 40,000 coins a little bit over so if you combine the two of those you easily have around 60,000 coins from just a week of squad battles and then you get six packs and you can take those packs and you can sell all the players or you could maybe get a huge pull and then sell that player or if you get a huge pull that's awesome because you get to add them right to your team so for me this is the easiest way to make some coin so I have two other ways to make some coin, one being the hut challenges. Now this one won't get you as much coin, but it will get you a little amount of coin. And this is for when you're bored in between games and you just want a little something to do to fill your time. There are only two minute periods. You come in here and you do these challenges. So this first challenge, you get a base pack. So that's cards, untradeable, but they're still on your team. Um, this is 700 coins from just playing two minute periods. Then if you come over to the number three challenge, there's easily 1,400 coins by just doing this one game. So that's six, minute, six minutes in total. Doesn't take any time whatsoever and there's 1,400 coins. Now that's just a little bit of coin to make out of these hot challenges. Um, just like a filler little thing. But anyway, for the third one, the third and final one is the market. So when you come over to the market, go down and put a buy now price to see what the top buy now price for gold player is. So right now I think it's a thousand. We'll start it off at 900 and see what's going on. So start that at 900, we'll put it gold players, nothing there. So that's just better for you. Go up to a thousand. So most players are a thousand right now on the market. So what you wanna do is go down here and put in the minimum bid. So I think it's 600 right now around 600 mainly most of them are 600 some will be under uh, so right here this one's 450 so what you could do is you could put the minimum bid on this player you could put the minimum bid on a lot of these players so 600 550 and then you put a bid on like 20 players let's say and you win 10 of them so you take those 10 players and then you put them on the market for buy now of about 950 so they sell right away so let's say you win this one for 450 um, you put it up for 950 there's 500 coin profit minus the tax EA takes so if you're getting like 10 of these cards at a time and putting them all up for 950 you're making uh, accumulated coin right there so there could be like 82s up here 81s 80s that you get for like let's say 800 coins or something by bidding on them and then you can flip them for a thousand and something so that's easy easy coin and then sometimes if you're doing it at the right time, you could win all these bids because there's not, not that many people on. You could get lucky and win like 20 bids. So there's easy coin right there because you flip them. Then another part of the market is buying these big players. So right here. So the other night I wanted Shane Goss to spare and I got him for 120,000 coins. So right now the lowest one is 120,000 coins. So the exact same price I bought my mine for the other night. But it's a bid, so there's no buy now. So this, by the time this is over in eight minutes, the bid's gonna go up. So if I wanted to wait the eight minutes, I could put mine up for 147,500. Cause the lowest one right now is 154,500. 
So I'm guaranteed to make a little bit of profit. So what I did was I bought him at night when I found, when the time is that there wasn't many people on. So I got him for a lot cheaper. So when you go on in the middle of the day, he's going to be a lot more expensive. And it also factors in that he's the best left defenseman in the game right now. So um, when EA is not adding more left defensemen that are better than Shane Gossespierre, his price is just going to go up because people want the best player that they can get. So since Shane Gossespierre is the best left defenseman, people are going to pay coin for him. And there's no other better left defenseman, so his price is just going to go up. Now guys, these are the best ways I've found to make some coin in Hut this year. If you found this helpful, please leave a comment. It is greatly appreciated. Other than that, leave a like and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.